Well, you probably haven't thought about BlackBerry in, what, more than a decade? But earlier today, the company's stock surged by more than 15%, and BlackBerry joins companies like GameStop, the brick-and-mortar video game store, and AMC movie theaters in seeing shares soar since yesterday. Now, these companies are what's known as meme stocks. They're stocks that have gained cult-like followings, usually through social media. Users post about and discuss the stocks and have the power to drive their price in either direction. Now, each of these stocks finished the day way up. BlackBerry ended trading up more than 11%. AMC finishing the day up 32%. And GameStop ended trading just under $50 per share. That's up more than 60%. So what is behind the surge? Well, yesterday, the online user known as Roaring Kitty posted this. It's a meme of a man leaning forward in his chair, and that is all it took to send these stocks soaring. Now, this was his first post on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, in three years, and he's the same person who led GameStop's stock to boost in 2021. Yo, what up, everybody? Roaring Kitty here. I'm going to pick a stock and talk about why I think it's interesting, and that stock is GameStop. So the whole GameStop craze, that was actually turned into a movie. It's called Dumb Money. It was released last year with Paul Dano portraying Roaring Kitty. The real name of Roaring Kitty is Keith Gill. Melissa Armo is with us now. She is the CEO and founder of The Stock Swoosh. It is an educational company that teaches people how to trade stocks. So, Melissa, please explain this to me. Uh, someone named Roaring Kitty, this bandana-wearing guy, Post on X and it drives followers to send these stocks soaring. How do you make sense of this? First of all, buyer beware if anyone is looking to buy any of these stocks because they're very volatile. While they had a run up in the last few days, they also have been halted. So the stock today, I think, was halted more than nine times. Same thing yesterday. So what does that mean? You could be in a position in the stock and the exchange halt, halts it, and then it opens at a completely different price. And sometimes you could be up in a trade and you're down in a trade or vice versa. So these stocks, if someone wants to buy any of these companies that you were just talking about and hold them long-term, if they truly believe in the companies and think that they're gonna rally again back to the previous highs, that's one way to look at it long-term, just stay in the position and ride it out. But there's also the possibility that these companies could drop again in price because some of these things have, were very inexpensive. BlackBerry, for example, is around three dollars a share. AMC is another one of these stocks was around the same price point, and GME was trading around sixteen dollars a share before this jump up. I don't think it's a good idea in general to take financial advice from anyone that's posting on social media that you don't know why they're taking the trade. What's the reason for them taking the trade? Is there a strategy that they're using to take the trade? The, why these stocks have rallied, though, is because of the fact that a lot of people, retail traders, have jumped in and decided to buy them. And then, this, then the, the exchanges are halting the stocks, which is very unusual for when a price is going up to have a halt. Usually, the exchange will halt a stock if it's dropping to try to get control over it so it doesn't fall completely down to zero. So they try to control what's happening. But to buy something and then have it halt when the price is moving up is extremely unusual. So and, and some Melissa, people took for, positions, they were up and then they were down. For these companies, I mean, GameStop, AMC Movie Theaters, uh, BlackBerry, I had one of those in college. Uh, why, are, why are these the companies in the middle of this? Because this one particular social media user, user decided to discuss GME. And because of several years ago, it was 2021, actually when he was talking about it, he drove the price at a very low price point all the way up almost to $500. So people jumped in, but unfortunately, a lot of people lost money when that happened because they bought over 300, 400. The stock never went up and then it completely fell off. So for the last two years, uh, all of these stocks actually have been trending down and people have been holding positions. Some positions are down. But and there's nothing like BlackBerry is previous highs. because typically when you invest in a stock, it's, oh, I think like NVIDIA, they're uh, inventing you something, know, AI innovation. and like, oh, I want it. We're right. going to make a profit like BlackBerry. I haven't heard of them in forever. I didn't even know they were still a company. I didn't either. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> Well, again, it's because of the price point was so low. So people could, you could buy more shares of a stock at $3. So you would never be able to have this type of uh, a move up volatility or market manipulation, for example, with Apple. Okay. 
most stocks are traded with institutional money that sets the trend in the overall market and in stocks. And they're traded with millions and millions and millions of shares every day. You don't have that going on in these stocks. There's very low volume most days, with the exception of the last two days, where average individual retail traders decided to move these stocks up. So retail traders can temporarily move stocks in one direction or another, but ultimately institutional money or what I call professional money, that's hedge funds, that's retirement accounts, that's big, big professional traders. They are the ones that set the tone in stocks and drive stock prices up and control them. They're not buying these stocks. And if they are, they're buying them probably to dump them and tank them. And that's what happened. Even though the, the all the stocks that you just discussed right now were up this morning in the close. They all sold off since their previous high this morning when they opened and they were halted several times. So some people are shorting these stocks, to be honest, but they're just, they're very dangerous to trade for anyone right now because it could happen. And I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but it could happen. You could actually be in a position in a stock and it could be halted and it could never reopen. And then you lose all your money. That could happen. It's happened before with other stocks. And that's why I said buyer beware, because when you trade the stock market like this and wild volatile stocks with people that you're following on social media and you don't know why they're taking them and the companies don't have the same panache, like you were talking about reasoning to invest in them right. long term where they're creating products or services that we use. You're trading it for the win and the hope of a prayer that you could make a lot of money, which some people did two years ago, and maybe some people did today or yesterday, but it's a wild card. You're better off really going gambling to Atlantic City. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> that, that's the bottom line, right? Yeah, when, when I knew like GameStop from 2021, but then yes, when I saw BlackBerry today, AMC theaters, I mean, just companies maybe some, back in 2014 yeah. or earlier could have been, <laughs> yeah. could have been there. Well, CEO and founder of the Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.